Hello guys and welcome back to the CryEngine Free SDK tutorial series and I know it's been a long time since my last video. Uh this is the sixth video of the series and in this video I just want to briefly go over installing the CryTiff plugin for Photoshop so you can export your own textures into CryEngine Free. So to start off I'm just gonna open up Google and I'm gonna go type in CryTiff. Uh, it should be usually it'll be the f uh, first link on Google and we should come to the uh, crydev.net webpage. You can see here we've got a bunch of source assets that we can download to go with Cry CryEngine but we don't really need them. As you can see here I just want to stress on one thing, at present only 32-bit Photoshop is officially supported we're working on expanding this in the near future. So basically what it's saying is this plugin only works with the 32-bit of Photoshop so if some of you are using 64-bit and you're having some issues that's why. So you can use this version of, Cry of the Crytif plugin with anything from the trial version or the paid version of um, Photoshop. Personally, myself, I've got the tri uh, trial version, so there should be no compatibility issues between the two. So I'm just going to open up the zip file, and you can see we got two folders here. We've got bin32 and we've got tools. So I'm just going to quickly drag these straight over to my desktop and I'm going to close up the zip file and my browser, that's all we need to do for there. And what we need to do is we need to go over to our CryEngine installation, so let's just go, not CryEngine, sorry, Photoshop installation. So let's go find our Photoshop, it should be on Adobe, and then Photoshop, and okay. So under bin32, we just want to drag these DLL files straight into here along with the rest of them. Let's just do that and then continue and those should go in there without a problem. And I'm just going to delete that bin32 folder now and then you can see here we've got tools. So let's go over to our plugins file and then over here I'm just going to drag in the tools folder straight into plugin. I'm just going to press continue. If you already have the you won't already you won't already have something like tools in here so that's all we've done on the side of copying files into the installation so let's just go up, go ahead and open up Photoshop here we go okay so I've just opened up Photoshop now and now we need to check if it's installed correctly so to do that we want to go to help and then we can go to about plugin and you can see Crytif plugin has been added here so let's go ahead and click this and it says please specify the directory of your CryEngine installation so let's do so um, I put my CryEngine directory straight on the desktop so I'm just gonna select here and just press OK and then press OK once again and it should be all set up for now so I'm just gonna go ahead and open up something I've got in my downloads folder um, I don't know I might have something bad in my downloads folder so ah, god damn it Okay, see if I've got anything. Okay, I've got a preview image here. I'm not too sure what it is. It might just be a desktop download, a desktop picture I've got. Everyone knows I always keep funky desktop backgrounds on my PC. So, let's go over to Save As, and you can see over here we've got all of our formats that we can export out into, well, onto our PC. So, as you can see here, we've got our Creative plugin now. So, let's go ahead and select that. It's just been recently added. And I'm just going to call this, um, test one and then just go save that to my desktop and we should see another little screen pop up any second now um, I'm not going to go ahead and explain all of these different settings in this tutorial it's going to be done in another one but for now we all know that we've got our Crytif plugin set up and working so thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video goodbye